All right, joining us now, Seth Myers, Pittsburgh Steelers fan. But Seth, you weren't born in Pittsburgh. So before we get started and talk Steelers draft, explain how that happened. My father uh, grew up in Pittsburgh in Liberty. He went to Peabody High School and a multi-generation uh, Myers family in Pittsburgh. He was the, the first one to raise kids out of it. And it was just non-negotiable. We had to be Steelers fans and I'm very happy about that. I have no complaints. It's been a wonderful ride. What's your earliest Steelers memory or realizing, okay, I, I'm born into this fandom? I remember the playoff loss against the San Diego Chargers in, I want to say 1982. I remember that being the first time that I was fully gutted and, uh, and saying to my dad, I can't believe we lost. And he said, I'm so proud that you know it's we. <laughs> I love it. You have some children of your own now, so can you promise us you're raising them correctly? I'm trying very hard. They have a lot of Steelers gear. Um, they are, the four-year-old thinks Steelers is just how you say football. <laughs> so I'm a li I think he's a little bit behind. I'm going to blame it on the pandemic. The, <laughs> the pandemic has slowed down learning for a lot of kids. Um, how often did you guys come back to Pittsburgh during your childhood? I know we've seen you at games recently at Heinz Field, but you know, yeah. how familiar did you get with just the city, not the football team? A lot. When my, you know, when my grandmother was still alive, we, we came once a year. And, uh, you know, she sadly, though, passed away, you know, about 20 years ago now. And then we didn't really have a lot of reason to come back. I would make a trip every now and then to do a stand up show. But a few years ago, uh, Larry Paul, who's one of the minority owners of the Steelers, he reached out and invited my family. And so it's just been so nice to, to come once a year in the fall and, and see the Steelers play. It's the perfect reason to make a trip back. So do you consider yourself a Yinzer? You know, I, I, I would... I wouldn't dare to say I'm a full Yenzer, but I do feel like I, I have it in the bloodstream. <laughs> do you have a favorite Pittsburgh word or saying since, you know, sometimes people come to Pittsburgh, they're like, why are you guys talking like that? I like the way my grandmother uh, said flowers, uh, flowers. <laughs> Roll it all together, right? Yeah, flowers. <laughs> uh, and then, oh, the best was I, I slept out for tickets to the 1994 AFC Championship game. On my way from New Hampshire to Chicago, where I went to college, we drove via Pittsburgh to sleep outside Three River Stadium to then buy tickets to the awful Alfred Papunu Chargers loss. But I remember thinking I was the biggest Steelers fan in the world until I slept outside for tickets at Three River Stadium and realizing I really, I wasn't. And my favorite thing I heard that night was uh, a Yinzer saying, Neil O'Donnell's got to take it to the next echelon. <laughs> so echelon, I think, is a really good uh, word as well. But that's dedication. We can make you an honorary Yinzer since you never physically you. lived here. With an asterisk. With an asterisk. <laughs> I, did physically, I did physically live there um, uh, for a couple years when I was a baby, but I wasn't born there. Okay. All right. Um, I read, and I have not seen this, which I can't believe I haven't, that during your SNL days, you impersonated Bill Cower. A, is that true? And B, can you give us some Coach Cower? Well, it was a real, it was a real D minus of a sketch insofar as how it was uh, uh, received by the audience. It was with Paris Hilton. Oh and I played, I played a Yinzer who thought he did a very good Bill Cower. Okay. And then it was, but so you have to picture me with a mustache and then the chin. Yeah, the chin. <laughs> now, Ooh, here's, a, here's a fun fact about uh, Bill Cower and I. His daughter had a, a baby in the same hospital as us on the same day as us. That's cool. Did you guys know it at the time? No, we found out after the fact. And Darn. imagine how excited I was. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show everybody. What, we like the mug. People, how many people overpaid for this on eBay? <laughs> Probably not enough, but imagine the people that have like the original ones, you know, they're making out right now. This is an original one. You didn't, oh, didn't I'm not knocking you. I'm saying other people that are selling them. Oh yeah, that's true. They're the ones that are making out like bandits. <laughs> now you've hosted the NFL honors. You've hosted the ESPYs. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the draft, that's like three straight days talking nonstop, coming up with random fun factor, fun facts of these players. Is that something you think you could do? I would love to spend a whole draft talking about the draft. I think that would be I this when I grew up as a kid, we would often be on spring break and my parents were so upset because I would want to spend the entire day inside watching the NFL draft. It is one of my I'm a little I understand 
that the NFL is, makes more money spreading it out. I did enjoy a one day draft. I liked getting a couple rounds in over the course of an afternoon, but I'll take it how it comes. All right, the Steelers have the 20th overall pick. Uh, put your general manager hat on. What are you doing with that selection? The only thing I'm not doing is running back or tight end, probably edge rusher, anything okay. else from wide open. I think they've done an excellent job in free agency. And so this is a real nice situation for best available player on the board. Uh, Devontae Wyatt, I think it would be amazing if Kyle Hamilton dropped. One of the receivers would be great. I think there's a wealth of options. And I don't want them to trade up, but if a quarterback they fall in love with falls to them at 20, go for it. All right. I like it. You are ready for Thursday. Um, I'm so ready. I know you won the Celebrity Poker Showdown. I don't yep. know how to play poker, but um, my friends here at the Steelers pretended to teach me how to play blackjack. So we're going to do black and okay. gold blackjack. Okay. This is going to be uh, just a little bit. Hold on. I got to be official here. All right. Showing everybody that I'm not cheating. I'll give it one shuffle. Oh, God. This is embarrassing. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm telling you. Okay. We got a queen. And we have a two. So do you want to add them up and give me a jersey number? Do you want to just take one of them? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, this is uh, kind of easy. A, that's Terry Bradshaw. There you go. Uh, first round pick, 1970. Perfect. The only time, I believe the only time this All right. first overall? Yes, he was. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm being told I'm doing this wrong. Let's try one more time. <laughs> All right. A six, a two. So do you want to hit or stay? Um, am, I, am I taking 26 or am I taking eight? We'll do eight. 26. I'm going to do 26, though, and I'm going to okay. say Rod Woodson, uh, first round pick, 1987. You are um, good. I'm really good at this. This is the way we're doing this is way more fun than however they're telling okay. you to do this. All right, this perfect. Thing. All right, then let's um, let's do it more. again. All right, a 10, an 8. Okay. That's 18. Mm -hmm. uh, hit me. All right. A jack. All right. Bust. That's 28. Oh, oh that's go ahead. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really have a good 28. Um, keep going. All right, let's do it again. Right. A four mm -hmm. and a seven. Uh, well, a uh, 47, that's Mel Blunt. I Not like where your head's at. Pick. I like how we're playing this game. Yeah, I know. Not a first round pick, <laughs> okay. right? No. All right. King and a five. 15. Man, I can't think of a single uh, Steeler uh, that, play that was 15. There's um, some recent ones, Demarcus okay. Ayers, Justin Brown. That's probably, you know. I would be very impressed with myself if I got either Ayers or Brown. Yeah, I would be too. But you did um, awesome. and Dave, we... Brown, uh, Dave Brown was a first-round pick, 1975. I'm going to have to check that one. I'm not sure, but I believe you. Because you, right. cl you clearly came prepared. I, you know, can't even shuffle a deck of cards. So, Oh, the terrible towel. Come on. If you, if you won't take me as a Yenzer, uh, who, who will you take? We will take you as a Yenzer. Absolutely. We hope to see you at a game sometime soon. Seth, thank you so much for your time uh, tonight. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Missy.